What's up everybody, this is Tadpole Superhero, and today we're playing some Mario Kart 8. Continuing on with our past thing we've been doing. Oh, doing the Grand Prix. Gosh, I'm so confused. Okay, 150cc, where are we now? Oh, I have to figure out what we're going to play as. Oh, that's right. I want to play as Koopa Troopa because I found, I had shown you guys my favorite setup with Daisy with the Yoshi bike. I found a new, not a favorite, but like my second favorite setup. It's Koopa Troopa on the Wild Wiggler with cushion tires and the Flower Glider, which he looks hilarious and adorable, but I love it. It's just, it's just really, I, I like doing the just weird, quirky setups, and this is, this is a good one. So that's what we're going to use today. Appropriately, Koopa Troopa on the Shell Cup. Now, what we're getting into these bottom four. Uh, the reason I haven't done the ones on the right is because this is the DLC, the first DLC pack. So we're going in order with what comes with the base game first, which are these eight cups over here. Then we'll do the DLC, we'll do these two, and then we'll do these two once they come out. So, we're on the Shell Cup. These four right here are all retro tracks, meaning they are from previous Mario Kart games and have been remade for Mario Kart 8, as you can see. With every uh, track's title at the bottom, it also has a little indicator above it saying like N64, Wii, 3DS, DS. So like here we've got tracks from Wii, GBA, DS, and N64. So let's jump into this one. How you guys doing today? It's some Mario Kart. Also, uh, something I'm going to be doing because the DLC is coming out very soon. Sooner than expected. I'm going to be doing more. I'm going to actually be... Uh, replacing some of my regular Let's Plays with Mario Kart 8. Not, I'm not ending the ongoing series I have going on. What I'm doing is I'm just going to do Mario Kart Let's Plays uh, in place of most of them. Just to get caught up to be ready for... As soon as the DLC drops, I want to do... Just play through the whole thing, like, the day it comes out. So, that's why I want to make sure that I'm caught up by then. So, I'm going to be doing more of these more often. I will come back to those series... Another thing is because I feel like the channel's gotten a little too bloated with the ongoing series I have going on. So I want to kind of... Basically... Oh, what's the word? I want to get set up so that I'm not doing as many ongoing series at the same time. I'm not canceling any of the ones I'm doing. So, Skyward Sword, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, Metroid Other M, and Super Mario 3D World. All of those are going to be completed. Just not... Um... Not in the same pattern that we've we've come to expect. Get away from me, Toad. Get away from me, Toad. But anyway. Uh, so, because I want to kind of be able to finish up the series a little quicker. So what I'll be doing is doing... I'm going to finish up Mario, Mario Kart 8. And then continue with one of the one of the let's plays that I've already been doing but do it more often instead of just one day a week because that'll help, that'll help me get, get stuff finished faster you know and help us to get through some of these let's plays and it's not as much for you guys to keep track of be like okay there's like five different episodes of, of different let's plays going on in a single week it's a lot so I want to kind of cut back trim back the fat we've gotten a little bloated with the let's plays so we're going to trim back some of that. Oh, we've got a blue shell coming. You can see it on the map. Luckily, I've got this. The Super Horn. Cool thing about bloopers, if you hit a boost pad, the ink goes away. All right. So yeah, that's what I want to do is just sort of trim it down. I'll still be doing videos at probably as frequently, just more focused so that we can finish up some of these Let's Play series and... Not be not be stuck with like once a week kind of things. So nothing's getting canceled. It's just I'm shifting around when things are being done. And so the next let's play that I'm gonna be more focused on is the Metroid Other M. Oh, just hit the mic stand. Uh, is Metroid Other M because I'd like to. I feel like that's probably gonna be the shortest game that I'm currently playing through. So I want to finish that one. Plus it's a blind let's play, so that's kind of fun. Ah. Uh, so that'll be the one I focus on once we finish up Mario Kart 8. I think this setup is just so freaking adorable. I, lo I love those cushion tires because they look like little little bean bags, little hacky sacks. 
Koopa Troop is cool. The Wiggler. I didn't like, uh, I think it was in Mario Kart, yeah, in Mario Kart 7. There is the Wiggler, Wiggler Queen or whatever. Wiggle, Wiggler was a character you could, you could race as. And that was kind of lame, because I don't, I don't like the Wiggler. But, oh gosh, what am I doing? I forgot how to drive! Forgot how to drive! Okay, I remembered how to drive. But the Wiggler is kind of a lame character to play as. But I like having the Wiggler mobile, the Wild Wiggler. It's cool. And it fits Koopa Troopa. Like, they just go together really nicely. So I think mostly what I'm going to be doing uh, as we keep playing through this is trying to pick just really quirky combinations. Uh, this one this one is not just a quirky combination, but also controls really nicely. I'm going to be finding some really weird combinations that may not necessarily control very well, but just look really fun and, and ridiculous. Because that's what I like doing. So we're going to find more of the crazy stuff because there are some really out there carts and and uh, and uh, gliders. The gliders are the big thing. Which, have we even glided at all? No, we haven't. Not yet. So you haven't seen my little flower glider. You can have fun with the tires too, but it's mainly the carts are just the really wacky out there stuff. I mean, isn't that the point of Mario Kart? That it's just completely wacky and ridiculous and out there? Anyway... Coolio, that's two races down, two more to go. Look at him, he's so cute. He's like, yay, I was a minion for so long and now I get to be in the spotlight. Silly Koopa Troopa. I love how the, the crowds of a lot of these racetracks are made up of Toads, Koopa Troopas, and Shy Guys most of the time. It's like... You know what? We can all get along when we're getting together for these spin-off games. It's only when it's a mainline Mario game that we have to be enemies. Got some Piantas on the beach cheering us on. Look at the uh, the racetrack, the starting line. It's a volleyball net. You'll see it when we come back around. It's a volleyball net with Mario Kart printed on it. It's a very tall <laughs> volleyball net. You know what they need to have? What we've never had yet. Oh, here comes the flower guy glider. Check that out. Makes it so hard to see. <laughs> hey Toad, don't steal my spotlight. But you know, you know what we haven't had for a spin-off game. We should have like Mario Mario Beach Party, because then you can have not just Mario Beach Volleyball, but you can also have like like wake wakeboarding, uh, wave runner surfing or racing. You can have surfing. Lots of cool stuff. What other beach type sports are there? I don't even know. That'd be cool. Paragl Mario paragliding. I want more Mario spin-offs. I'm a sucker for them. I really like I really do like the spin-offs. The Mario sports games have all been really great. Mario Strikers is just so ridiculous and hilarious and I love it. Um Mario the Mario tennis games are wonderful. Mario Golf, I just haven't gotten into it because I've never gotten into any golf games, so. So sue me. Alright, let's go underwater. Let's hit some jumps. Because why not? I've actually never taken this side of the course, going completely underwater. That's kind of cool. It's got jump boost to help you not get, not fall behind. Yeah, so look at the starting line when we pass. It's a volleyball net. Oh, I've got an itch. It's terrible to have an itch on like your arm when, <laughs> when you're trying to race. I managed to get through that, surprisingly enough. What I've found is that drifting is such a huge part of this game, and Mario Kart 7. Uh, I haven't played Wii or, or Double Dash. They look like they have drifting as a big part too. But uh, I know Mario Kart 64 was like, there, there's no drifting. You can hop and get a little, a little quick turn, but that's about all there is. Diddy Kong Racing has drifting, but the funny thing about that is, uh, wow, two blue shells in one race. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing has drifting, but the funny thing about that is, depending on the character, depending on how heavy your character is, sometimes drifting is not as good as regular turning. It's funny. We won again! Look at him, he's, just, he's just so happy. Oh, he has to land first. Then he can go back to cheering. This is just cute. 
This is a cute Koopa Troopa. Cute little turtle. We kill so many of them in the main Mario games. He's like, I'm a survivor for now. It probably, because this came out, this came out after 3D World. So he's like, hey, I've got a long, long break before, you know, I go back into war against Mario and get killed. Do the Koopa Troopas actually die? I don't know. Does Mario actually kill the enemies? I'd love to know. Okay, so anyway, this is a redo of Toad's Turnpike from Mario 64. This is actually one of the most boring tracks, and yet it's really cool. Like, boring in terms of design, because it's very wide. Uh, you know, No obstacles except for, you know, they're, they're like buses and trucks, but whatever. They're really easy to avoid. There's just not a whole lot going on in this track, but for whatever reason, I really like it. Just visually, it's very nice. Visually. And the, mu the music's just cool. It just works really well. But this is this is more interesting than the N64 version. Which is good, because the N64 version was like super boring. Cool thing about this is you've got the main track with the... I missed the jump boost there. Oh, items. But you've got the main track with all these trucks and stuff floating along. But you also have the walls with anti-gravity uh, with boost pads along them. Now, the, the walls are a bit slower than the main track. But, again, you get to avoid the carts. Which they'd be more useful if um, the traffic was heavier. Is, that's the thing about this course. is it, it would be, actually be a better course if it was heavier traffic. And if cars and trucks and buses and stuff went both ways. Because they're all moving in the same direction. It'd be really cool if they were, if they just came in both directions. And there was heavier traffic. That would really that would really liven this track up, I think. Oh, I'm not in first! Ha <laughs> ha! So you get hit by a blue shell. It's also, this is a track where really skill isn't as important as uh, something isn't as important as just having you know the fastest uh, cart and racer combination it's not a lot of crazy turns or stuff all right let's see if we can just glide all the way all the way stay above no Oh, Se Yoshi! He came in and snuck in. Snuck in a win. Ah. Three points shy of a, of a swelling victory. We still won, but it wasn't as overwhelming a victory as I had hoped. All right. Cool. That was fun. I think that finishes us off. Should. So that was fun. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to be doing more Mario Kart 8 videos in the next, uh, this, you know, in the next couple weeks just so that we can catch up with the uh um with the dlc that's coming up so we got a little highlight reel going on here but thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time uh subscribe if you want to stay up to date on future videos let me know in the comments what you think comments are my favorite so just let me know in the comments what you think your thoughts on mario kart 8 what are, what's your favorite track in mario kart 8 what's your favorite setup in kart and racer combination let me know and uh Follow me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date on my zany video game antics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.